Okay, come on. I don't know if I should be telling you this, but I'm going to show you a move. Okay? Listen. If you go back, forward, back, and then down, and then push the run button, and if you do that really fast, you'll be your friend forever. game for your PC. So as you may know, Mortal Kombat Trilogy is a very tricky game to install, mainly because it's a pretty old game and there hasn't been a lot of, uh, you know, support from developers. So it was, it's a, a, a very old game that needs some nicky picky details uh, to be done in order to be able to play it properly. So First, we're going to learn how to install it and how to properly configure it with background music, with sounds, with, um, you know, with um, full screen capability, uh, everything fine with, uh, you know, with joystick, Xbox One controller support, so every, all that good stuff. So first, we're going to learn how to do it in Windows 10, and then we're going to learn how to do it in Windows 8. So uh, first, um, you want to go into my webpage, as always, go to grabyourselfnet.com, we're going to go into the forum, register, and once you register into the forum, uh, here uh, you're going to go uh, into Hacking Games, and here you will be able to find the Mortal Kombat Trilogy section here. So um, I'm going to be adding the, the Windows 8 part, but... This is the correct thread. You should look for this thread. And here, once you go and download these files, um, you will be able to, you know, to use the the files. So once you download the folder, you'll have something like this. You'll find that there are three different folders. Each one aimed for different operating system. I mean, uh, Windows 8 and Windows 10. Windows DOS version you can use in either Windows 8 and Windows 10, and it works perfectly fine. So. Um, this version, the DOS, as I told you just, just now, it works in both operating systems. But uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to teach you how to play it with the Windows uh, version in Windows 10. So we're going to go into this folder. Everything is going to be already configured. As you can see, we got Anti-Micro, which is a software to, to key map your joysticks. I have my Xbox One controller ready and, and, and prepared. And um, then we got DG Voodoo CPL, and this little program kind of emulates the use of, you know, the Voodoo card back in the day. So even though I have a very powerful, uh, you know, 1080 Ti uh, video card, you'll need this little program in order to emulate that, that um, you know, old video card, so that the game works properly and doesn't give you any background color glitches or anything like that, and you will be able to play it in full full screen mode. So um, first, uh, once you download my files, everything is going to be pre-configured. But just to teach you how this program works, Digibudu. Um, so actually, sh you should just select like, full screen. Uh, I highly suggest you to select either stretch for free aspect radio because once you go full screen and you select this option, you will be able to play the game uh, with you know correct pixels um, transformations. You know if you if you do it in full screen, it's not going to be stretched or anything, so the picture is not going to get deformed. Then we got uh, and the other option is stretch for free, the same thing, but with the CRT like, which uh, with a little scan line and you know some CRT effect that it's kind of cute. So I'm gonna select that uh, that option that it's pretty cool. And then um, this glide uh, tab, you it's it's you don't have to use this. It's not gonna work. So we're gonna go into direct X. This is the one that you should use. Uh, here, make sure to select um, the, the you know the default value is going to be 64. I always use go and go with uh, 128 megabytes resolution max uh, forced uh, virtual synchronization. Sh make sure to disable DigiVoodoo because otherwise you'll see a, a stupid logo uh, on top of your game. And then once you're done, just apply and OK. So. Um, our game should be ready to go. Uh, we have to um, make sure to execute it from this one because if you if you execute from the bad file, you'll see that it automatically uh, starts Anti Micro and Mortal Kombat Trilogy game. So it's um, it's more convenient than having to execute every single executable at once. 
So, um, so yeah, we're gonna start the game and gonna show you that it works perfectly well. So let's see. Let's let's watch some gameplay, okay? So uh, one thing that you're gonna know is that um, each time you execute the game and you go with the full screen, the only way to close the game then is just by typing Control R Super and you know just uh, close the trilogy executable process. So that was pretty much the method on how to play Mortal Kombat Trilogy on Windows 10. Everything is pre-configured for you guys. I already made all the hard work for you. So you don't have to do anything else rather than changing any, uh, some, some details in Voodoo CPL if you, if you please. But just for the default values, it's going to be pre-configured. Everything is going to work just fine. So uh, the other option is the DOS version, which is kind of neat also. It works perfectly well. Uh, the difference with the, with the Windows version is um, the US version, um, I myself added some shaders that emulate the, you know, the, like the real CRT monitors or CRT TVs. So it can be a, a little bit demanding if you're using a laptop, especially that, you know, laptops are in general not very powerful console, uh, you know, uh, machines. So if you're using a laptop or a bad computer, an old computer, the game is probably gonna you know a function a little bit slow and it's not gonna be very smooth but if you have a, a pretty decent computer you don't have you will not have any problems so uh, this is the DOS version uh, you have some options to choose from here if you go all the way down you'll find launch Mortal Kombat trilogy with CRT effect with no CRT effect or um, another CRT effect I highly suggest you to I personally like the Mortal Kombat trilogy CRT effect if you don't want to to play with CRT just execute this a very important thing about this version of uh, DOS um, is just make sure not to um, modify the name of this folder. If you do, if you do modify the name of the folder, you will lose uh, music, background music. So, uh, so in order to, for you to know that every every time you you change the name of the folder, just make sure to go into the Mortal Kombat trilogy. This Mortal Kombat trilogy CFG is actually the one that works with the CRT effect. And um, the one that says uh, DOS box is the one that works with the no CRT effect and so on. So uh, basically, uh, if you change the name of the folder, uh, just go to the CFG, just edit with notepad and go to um, find and type Mortal Kombat. And uh, here you will find um, the correct path. If you change the name of the folder, just make sure to change the name of here as well. So the, you know, the DOS box actually recognizes the path and is able to mount the image correctly. Because, you know, every time you execute the DOS version, it's going to be uh, auto-mounting this image. So uh, the only thing that you're going to do is actually, just like in the other version of Windows 10, you have to configure first the anti-micro, the, you know, the keys of the, of the controller. Here you can see. Sorry about that. <sighs> Shit. These uh, little keys of the controller, as you can see, I'm, be, I'm, I'm able to play with it. And uh, once you, you configure the, con the keys of the controller, you're pretty much done. Uh, here you have the control key for reference, uh, w what each uh, key does, so you can um, configure it properly, uh, properly with the... Um, with the controller and once you're done just execute the game and we're gonna see how it plays Ha 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 ha!
Okay, so as you can notice, the game works perfectly fine, there's no problems at all, it works really smooth. So now in the next part of the video, I'm going to teach you how to play Mortal Kombat Trilogy with sound, with music, with controls, with everything, but with uh, Windows 8, 8.1 or whatever version of Windows you have. So uh, we're going to go to the next part now. Okay guys, so this is the second part of the video, we're gonna learn how to play Mortal Kombat Trilogy properly in Windows 8. So as you can see, I'm using uh, a version of Windows 8, it's obviously pirated, uh, it's Windows 8.1 Professional, and uh, we're gonna learn how to play with this. Um, basically, if you use the same file that we used in the, in the first part of the video, you know, the Mortal Kombat Trilogy Windows 10 version, uh, you'll have an error here, um, once you execute the executable, you'll see this error, so don't worry about that, we're gonna use another version that works perfectly fine. If we use the DOS version as well, um, the, the game is gonna work perfectly well, so um, this, is a, you know, this is a correct option that you can use, but you can also play with the Windows, with another Windows version of the game, which I personally call Windows 8 version. So this version is a little bit more tricky, it's not as straightforward as the Windows 10 version, but it's still very easy to install, it's not, it's not a very huge deal. So basically, first, that, first thing that we're going to do is actually install, um, you, I highly suggest you only two softwares to mount your image. First is Demon Tools Lit, because it's completely free. And second, you have Alcohol 120%, which is another program, you can obviously f look for that in the torrents. But I'm uh, gonna include this program inside my package, so you guys you don't have to look for it anywhere else. Just open the, the folder that it says MK image inside the Windows 8 version, and you'll find the Demon Tools installation uh, file. So once you install Demon Tools, you'll have something like this. Obviously, you want to uh, go into Images, we're going to go into Add Images, select this image uh, that is Trilogy PC Final, and uh, basically this is going to appear, and then right-click and mount. Oh, it's already mounted, okay. So, as you can see here, if you go to my PC, and you can see the, 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 all the different drives and devices, we have my C unit, obviously, with my Windows installation and main files, my D unit with all my games, this is an external, I mean an internal hard drive that I have. And then we got the E unit. So as you can see, it's in order, in alphabetical order. It's in C, D, E. The problem arises if you have the image mounted with a different letter. So just imagine we have C, D, F, or C, D, G, or C, D, whatever. Then the game is not going to work with with proper, uh, you know, background music. So I highly suggest you to mount the, the CD drive, the virtual drive, in a alphabetical order, C, D, E. How you do that? How? What if you have a CD drive with a different letter? In order to change that, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go into My PC, we're gonna go in right click and Manage. Once we enter the Manage, um, you know, window, we're gonna go into Disk Management, and uh, here you'll find your CD, your virtual CD room drive. So you want to select with the mouse and right click it and change letter, change drive letter on path. And here we're going to just, uh, probably you'll have a different letter. So just make sure to change and change for whatever letter is correct for your computer. So it makes sense. It, it, it is in alphabetical order. It, that's pretty important. So once you do that, just OK, OK, apply and um, make sure to have all your drives in alphabetical order. So once you do that, the image is already mounted, we are pretty much ready to go. Every, everything else is pretty much the same as the other packs. Uh, sorry about that. As the other packs, uh, we have Micron. Here you should be able to configure your, your, you know, your keys. And uh, basically, we also have a bat here that I made uh, with, uh, you know, Star Micro and Mortal Kombat Trilogy executable. So you just have to execute the bat file and you're much, uh, pretty much ready to go. So, um, 
So we're gonna execute the game. I already also ex uh, you know configured the video. So we're gonna execute the game and see how it plays. I'm not gonna execute the battle. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna execute the battle, whatever. Uh, and let's see if the background music works. So as you can see, uh, the overall procedure is almost the same as the Windows 10 version, but here you have to mount the image uh, with the proper uh, Demon Tools uh, software. Also, once you exit the full screen mode, uh, you can close the game just by clicking in Close Game. In Windows 10, you have to close the game by Ctrl R Super and ending the task with the Task Manager. So that's a little different. So basically, this is how to how you can play Mortal Kombat trilogy in virtually any modern operating system. You know, Windows 8 and Windows 10. I don't know if these versions work with Windows 7. Uh, I I think that Windows 7 is already pretty obsolete. Even though it was a, a great operating system, I, I think that nobody actually uses it. Maybe at work if they have a, a desktop PC at work, but. You know, gamers and hardcore gamers, they don't usually use Windows 7 no more. So, uh, Windows 8, Windows 10, and Windows DOS for both operating systems. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. Just make sure to subscribe and like. And see you in my next videos. Bye.